We're talking all things Season 2 Madden 24 Ultimate Team, but first, the Team of the Week that is releasing tomorrow afternoon. Week 4 Team of the Week, your LT, your one of your two LTDs, Jerry Jacobs, cornerback for the Lions, 88 speed, 89 zone coverage, 87 press. Will not get deep in zone KO um, because he's not hit the 90 zone threshold, so I'm a little bit disappointed on that. Mark Andrews, 89 overall, and I'll be honest, if this card came out last week, would have been really, really cool, but we just got Vernon Davis, so it is going to overshadow Mark Andrews. A little bit slower with only 86 speed. Does not get tied into Primus. Your champions for this week are very, very good, though. Stefan Diggs, 88 speed. First receiver to hit all 90 overalls and all the route running thresholds there. Really, really good card. And then your defensive champion, of course. It was only going to be one player. Khalil Mack, 87 speed. So I think he's one of the fastest pass rushers now in the game. 89 power move, 93 strength. 89 block shed your team of the week is looking very very good going on to the 86 team of the weeks they have risen to 100k they did not show the sets for this week so we do not know if the old 86 team of the weeks will go into the new sets really it's up to you if you want to sell for 100k kind of take your profit if you bought for 75 to 80k i'm personally gonna be holding but it's completely up to you if you want extended coverage of the market and how i make my coins Subscribe to the Coin Bible exclusively on Team Get Lucky. Link in the description. Next up, your Hispanic Heritage Month cards. Malcolm Rodriguez are going to be five total 86 overalls you can earn through objectives and challenges, I do believe. 87 speed, more of a coverage linebacker for the Lions. Next up, we've got legend Victor Cruz, 87 speed. A little bit low on the route running, especially medium and deep route running, but he's a free card, you know, can't really complain there. 87 speed, too, is pretty, pretty solid. Looking forward to a card of his later on in the year. Martin Gramatica, new first time he's ever been an ultimate team. Be honest, a little bit disappointing. Only 82 kick power. We have 87 kick power kickers already in the game. So, hey, he's free, but not that good. This card, though, Arian Foster, 88 speed Dolphins and Texans theme team. Dude, he's comparable to Bo Jackson, and he's free. He's tied or second fastest running back in the game. Love that card. And the last card is going to be Christian Gonzalez, 87 speed. A little bit low on zone coverage, but good press, good man coverage. Unfortunate, he dealt with an injury this week, and he's out for a little bit, but one of the best young, promising cornerbacks in the NFL today. We also are getting a new ability in Mutt called Lurk Artist. This is only going to be for linebackers it has only it's only going to be for pass coverage outside linebackers and then it's going to be on all middle linebackers as long as they have 86 jumping it's pretty much just lurker and pick artist combined for one ap for linebackers one of them is going to be on dave robinson one of them is going to be on ray lewis you list this as gilbert i think the team builder and then shannon crowder your new team captain can go all the way up to 89 overall if you're curious about dave robinson he's all the way up to 1.2 mil on xbox one of the best coverage linebackers in the game, but that is your new team captains with a new ability. Now onto the comp pass. Your first player of two is going to be Justin Fields, the first quarterback to get fearless as an ability, although you are going to have to get the LTD version to get fearless, and it's going to be 4 AP, 91 speed. To be honest, actually a really, really good card in my opinion, because it's not going to take too long for us to earn him in the competitive field pass that is releasing this Friday. J. Ron Curse is like your grand mass reward alongside like the George Pickens from season one. Um, I mean, he's a good card. 90 speed, 90 degree zone, hits the deep out zone KO threshold. My only like, I guess, issue is like he's only a 90 overall. So like we're going to be getting 90 overalls maybe next week. So and we're earning this card in like a month's time. So um, yeah, if you're like big into overalls, he's not that high of an overall, but he will be a good card just because he's as measurable as right. He's fast, he's tall, and he's going to get good abilities. Here are your competitive pass field or field pass rewards altogether. Some notables and unstoppable hero BND level nine, which is like meh, a uh, 88 AKA BND level 33. I would have liked to seen that be an 89 just because like we've already seen all the 88s. Um, I'm hoping the legend packs level 27 and level, I think, fifth, no, no, level where does it say the other legend pack? It's the last level. I think 53 it is. I'm assuming those are just a full auctionable fantasy legend or random legend like we got for season one. If it is just a legend pack, very, very disappointing. Um, but that is your competitive field pass rewards. I didn't even complete the first field pass for the, the first comp pass. So um, I don't really care too much about it. But hey, Justin Fields, J-Ron Curse look like really cool cards. Finally, on to your season two field pass rewards. Starting out with Aaron Donald, you're going to earn an 86 overall version at level five. And then at level 25, you get an upgrade token to make the 88 overall Aaron Donald, as you see on your screen. Next up, we've got Jason Kelsey, 
88 overall, and you are going to earn this card at level 15. So very, very early on, one of the best centers in the game personally. I love this reward because you get it so early on, and he's a very, very high overall. Next up, 89 overall, Travis Kelsey, 88 speed. Unfortunately, this card to me, because you earn it so late along, you earn, I think, a level 35 in the field pass. He doesn't get tied in Apprentice, I'm pretty sure. They didn't mention it at all. He's just a worse version of Vernon Davis, and you get him so late. A little bit disappointing there as a Chiefs fan. Micah Parsons, earnable, I think level 40 or 45. Just a little bit of an upgraded version of his MCS card. Does get a unique X Factor that's 0 AP, so we'll have to see if that is overpowered. Your grand reward, though, the level 50 or 53 reward, you're going to upgrade him like plus 1 or 2 overalls every 10 levels. Um, Randy Moss, 92 speed, 6'4", he's Randy Moss, going to be one of the best receivers in the game. Only again, 91 overall, like it seems to be a theme that like the just the overalls are lower. I'm not saying the stats aren't good and the cards aren't good, but the overalls are lower. Here's your entirety of the season two field pass rewards. One thing to note for me, no new alternate uniform packs along the way. So that's a little bit disappointing. You'll see all the upgrade tokens every 10 levels for Randy Moss. Again, a little disappointing like the Travis Kelsey card because he earned it so late on in the field pass. And he gets where, where, where is Travis Kelsey? I, I, can't, I can't even see it, man. I can't even see it. I see Micah Parsons level 45. Randy Moss at 40. Is it 35? It's 35 for Travis Kelsey. Just a little bit disappointing because we just got a Vernon Davis. And we're not earning that Travis Kelsey for like a month's time. So... Yeah, and a little bit of a leak from EA Sports when they showed Estadio Azteca, a little reward for the Hispanic Heritage Month program, they showed that there is going to be an alternate currency for Most Feared. It also kind of like is going to say, hey, Most Feared probably going to be next week. Now, alternate currency wise, there's nothing you can do right now. It's just something that's going to be in the game when we get Most Feared. But hey, something to talk about. And yeah, it looks like it's candy corn this time around. First time we've had alternate currency in the game, I think since Madden 22. Another bit of news that we did not receive from the Season 2 reveal stream was no mention, no talking of Reduxed LTDs, although I still think we're going to get them because, like, they just have to come out at some point, and Season 2 just makes the most sense. Maybe we get them, like, this Thursday or Friday. I think they came out on, like, Fridays last year. Um, we'll have to wait and see, but no mention of Redux, although there will be, like, new store offers for Level Up. They did mention that at the very beginning of the stream, but no other mention of, like, a new training pack or anything like that. But let me know your thoughts on the Season 2 stream. I mean, everything, really. Team of the, team of the Week looks really, really good. The Hispanic Heritage Month, although the cards are a little bit low, 86 overall, they're free, and they are really good statted cards, so that's cool to see. Comp Pass, I'll be honest, it, it's just not for me. Like, you have to do so much grinding for i wouldn't really say little reward because the legend players you got for season one were really really cool but like the actual player rewards like aj Jarrell and george pickens last time weren't they weren't they don't motivate me enough to grind mutt champs every week and grind solo battles every week i don't care enough to do that and this time around like the justin fields card is cool but i doubt he's gonna be the actually the best quarterback in the game by the time we earn him and then jaron curse is cool but you know, he, again, by the time we get him, it's like the George Pickens. By the time we got George Pickens, he wasn't even a top five receiver in the game. So, and, and again, I'm not saying the cards are bad. It's just saying for the amount of time you got to put in to get these cards, it's a lot of time, man. It's a lot of time. And they aren't, like, again, if they were the standout best cards in their position by a long shot, and they were going to be the best cards at their position for, like, a month, it would be like, okay, I'm going to go out and get these cards. But they're not... I don't need them is what I'm trying to say. I don't need them on my team. And for the amount of time I put in, um, they're not crazy. And then the season two rewards. Uh, I mean, Randy Moss is really, really cool. But again, I don't I don't care too much about what they show because I know we're not going to get them for like a month, month and a half. So like I'll get excited for Randy Moss in a month, right? When we hit November right now, it's like, oh, cool. We get Randy Moss, but we don't get him for a little bit. Uh, honestly, the Jason Kelsey card is like the thing I'm most excited for because you get him so early on. The Aaron Donald 2 level 25 seems to be a little bit decent, but like the Travis Kelsey and Micah Parsons one, Travis Kelsey isn't that good. Uh, and, and Micah Parsons, we're not going to get for a month. So I'm not going to get like overly excited for them, but it's still a new season. It, it brings life into the game. I'm more excited personally for the Unstoppable promo on Thursday because um, the Unstoppable is like the theme of entire of season two, right? Those season two rewards, they were like technically like called un like unstoppable cards essentially i think the season i think the thursday promo unstoppable the theme of the promo is going to be those new special abilities like aaron donald gets like interior 
and he gets like really good pass rush from the interior. I think uh, Jason Kellis gets Kingpin, which is like protected, but for a center, it gives boost to all linemen. I think we're going to get a lot more of those types of cards on Thursday. They have this spe these special like dual abilities wrapped into one. So really, really excited for Thursday. Um, I guess you could say with the overalls being a little lower, there are some rumors and some whispers that like, hey, maybe we just stay at 89 overall for a few weeks, or maybe we don't upgrade from 90 to 91 at all for season two. The only thing I would say on that is we're going to be probably getting most feared next week. And most feared is a three week long promo. And if we stay at 89 overall, it's got to stay at 89 overall for the entirety of most feared. So we'll be at 89 overall until literally November. I can't see them staying there. Maybe we stay at 90 overalls for like four to five weeks instead of three weeks, but we'll have to wait and see. In, in reality, doesn't matter. Like in your binder right now, you see my coins are still really low. I'm still buying cards. You should have 86s, you should have 87s, and if you bought them over the weekend and on Monday, their prices, the general prices of 86s and 87s have risen. So like you're you're good no matter what. Your cards have already gone up a good amount. Whatever they require on Thursday, they require on Thursday. Whatever they require next Thursday, they require for next Thursday. Um, that's all for this video. I will have once I'm ahead video will be out tomorrow, and I'll have a video probably out Thursday or Friday talking about just my market plans for the weekend. Comment if you have any questions, like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new, and until next time. Peace.